Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Melissa Stevens and I'm Terry McFadden. New tonight trailblazing the way forward. People gathering for an open house to learn about a three mile trail that could connect Potato Creek State Park to North Liberty. Monica Murphy was at tonight's meeting and joins us from the newsroom with more. Monica. Yeah, you know, over 100 people attended tonight's meeting, which is huge. And for the most part, the feedback was incredibly positive. Take a look. North Liberty and St. Joe County officials say they want to enhance people's quality of life. There has been talk about building a trail for a while now, but interest especially grew after funding was approved to build an inn at Potato Creek State Park. People gathered for an open house Tuesday to learn more about a trail that would connect the park to North Liberty. So residents could easily walk or bike there, as well as when the inn's built and the guests are at Potato Creek, they could come to the town and be able to to experience the town and its uh, amazing shops. Maycog, North Liberty, DLZ, and the county have been working on a study and are proposing two trail options. One which would come from the town along uh, the rail corridor up Sycamore and then across State Road 4. The other option would be to come out more towards the school on the north side of town and then go along the edge of properties and along the drainage ditch into Potato Creek and never having to cross State Road 4. One of the two options is a real safety concern, I feel. It's crossing that state highway, posted speed limit where they're proposing to cross it is 55 mile an hour. I hate to say, Nobody goes just 55 mile an hour this day and age. MACOG will review the public's feedback and will make tweaks if needed. If there is enough support for the project, they will start applying for grants. And town officials say the second phase of the project would extend the trail to Lakeville. But this is a story that we are going to continue following, so stay with us, guys. Monica Murphy, live in the newsroom for us tonight. Monica, thanks for the update. 16 investors.